welcome to another video. On this video, we will try to deactivate this uh, adaptive light. Okay. For that, we will use the Pro Diag or Diag Zone, or it's up to launch. They will have the same functionality. And I will show you exactly how you can do because you still find something on the internet but they are not very clear and they don't explain you very well. Two steps is explained there, but one step is not explained. And for that, the people will hate me because I'll tell you now exactly how you can do and what you should uh, do because there are many people who try to code this out, this uh, adaptive light, and they make a big mistake over their own coding because they are telling on the forums, they saw the video on the YouTube, and it's not really good explained. Of course it's not explained because those people, they will never explain you 100%. You should not be so stupid to believe the most of the people, they will explain you everything. No, because you should go to them to repair the car after that. Okay? Because you you'll messed up your um, coding on the car. On these VAG uh, cars, you know? Audi, Volkswagen, all of them. It's very dangerous if you messed up the coding. Okay, you'll have a lot of uh, problems after that. Before to make coding, I will suggest you all the time to take a picture from the old code over there. And if something happens, you can put the uh, old one back. You know already, or maybe you don't know, You, I will tell you, you have on the left side, uh, on the right side, you have fuse over there. You will remove this fuse. I will put also a picture on the screen and I will show you exactly which fuse. I will don't go with you through all these steps removing this fuse because it's fucking cold outside. It's minus two degrees and I will freeze over here. It's just I'll put the fuse. I'll take a pictures from both of the side and you'll know exactly which uh, one it is. Okay. And after that, I will come back and we'll move from here. This car have a lot of issues, but as you can notice, you have no problem with another ones only what we should remove is the adaptive light okay it's not coding coding is when you install in the car this is to deactivate you know we will deactivate the adaptive light i just removed the fuse as you can notice it's over there we still need on this side on the left side to take the fuse uh, from the instrument cluster after that but uh, we switch on okay and we go now on the first one, what we will take it, because it's um, the hardest one, is the instrument cluster. As I said, you should all the time uh, take a picture of this, what, uh, on the old coding, but not over here. And the next step. I do have problem with this one, okay. Now we go on code module. You will notice over here the first four we should put it. Actually, what you must do, you have you noticed is plus 64 zero, zero, 0064, yes, for advanced front light system. This is everything what you must to change over here, okay? Another code, leave it like that. You go forward. You notice here he will suggest you to take a picture and uh, all these stuff, you know, before to... I mind to write this, not to take a picture. But in our case, we will take a picture after that. This is the old coding. You notice, you notice here we have the current coding. First four, as I said, two, one, four, five, okay, and it's minus 64. Then we will put 2081, okay, and two, sorry, you should know, so 2081, okay, the first four, and then you have 103, 103. Zero, zero, 
I hope you understand. Clearer than that, I cannot explain you. Then from the first four, two, one, four, five, minus 64, because you have, uh, you want to delete uh, this uh, fucking adaptation light, then you'll have uh, this one, I mind. You have this result, okay? And you press now, okay? Coding success. Okay. You switch off. Uh, we go now back. And now we go to another module. Let's say we will take this one. Okay, the module number nine, electronical center. Take a picture also from this coding. You don't need this one, you'll need another one. And now you go to code module. And you'll pay attention over here. What we should change is this AFS with, with uh, number 3 noted here will be on the counting when we go forward and if you notice this you have 0 then you'll keep another 2 and the fourth one if you have 3 you'll put it 2 also we'll do uh, similar in our case okay and we go forward It will suggest you also to write these things. And okay. This is really funny. Maybe it, it is the reason why this uh, shit doesn't work on this car. Because it's uh, aftermarket. They, they replace the light with aftermarket one. And maybe it was not uh, correct coded on the car. Because you can notice we do have already the two instead of three here. Maybe this is the reason why it doesn't work. In our case, in my case, for example, I will keep like that. I don't go forward. I don't want to coding to change the code because this two already put it here. I go back and we will go on the gateway module. Okay. Go on the ni number 19. I don't uh, switch on and off because I didn't make coding and I can keep it like that. Also take a picture before. You go on the long coding. And you'll go over here, coding installation list. And we will search for our module. Uh, it is here, the headlamp, okay? It's not coded. I will press coding now. Yes, I will change it. Code successfully. And that's it. I go back. I switch off. And now you will remove the fuse number 15. I will show you here. I will take also a picture. You notice fuse number 15. Who you will find in the German name. It's Combi Gerät. Combi Mines Instrument Cluster. You remove that fuse for. Leave it 2-3 minutes. You put back. And uh, job done. Okay let's put the fuse back. I leave it for 5 minutes. It's more than enough. The car will wake up. Okay. I will start off with the car because it's very cold. And now we should don't have any more this uh, noising light. This is refill the car. Let's see if we have the problem with adaptive light. And you can notice it's not here. And I'm convinced these people, when they replaced the aftermarket lights, they didn't code this correctly over there with number three. 
I'm not so sure if this install it with this uh, adaptive light. I will can also show you. Give me one second. It's better to show you which light I'm speaking about. Let's put it here. Then you will notice it's with LED. They are this one. As I said, they are aftermarket. And of course. I can try to coat this back on the car and this is what I will do and I will let you to know in the comments if this thing was working or not okay like always thank you for watching and I hope this uh, video it was uh, useful for you and you learned something from here okay bye bye I didn't want to record that, that I said I will let you to know in the comments but I said why not to make this together I put a fuse back, left and right, as should be, because I do believe the reason it was because it was not good coded over there. And I will turn on. We go back to our module. Let's go here. We will put this back on the list. It will show us now the adaptive light, but it's not coded already. Uh, list again. Here yeah, we do have adaptive over there because I do have the fuse. It's coded. Let's change to coding. We'll code this. Coding successfully. Let's go back. Switch off. Switch on. We go back now to the instrument cluster. And if my memory is still good, uh, the code it was 2145 on the first one. Uh, 2145. And then we have 1103. Okay. No, we have only one. We have only one. 103. And we will proceed now to code this one. Code successfully. Okay. Same shit like before. Okay. Again, switch on. And then we will go on the last one. And we will replace this one here. Code the module. Okay. And then we have 0013 001. Instead of 2, we'll put 3. Okay. Press OK. Cut successfully. Okay. Now let's switch off. Again, we will take this fuse out. It was this one. Let's take it out. It is out. Now I don't wait so long. Because it's fucking cold, I don't care. If work works, if not, I will take it out. Anyway, I put it back. Then let's start the car. Let's see if this change or not. If this change, we leave it like that. If not, I will proceed the first procedure to take it out. Yes, the shit doesn't work because, as I said, it's aftermarket. I will uh, reverse that uh, job back, okay? I hope you learned something from this video. And I hope it was useful for you. And thanks for watching and for your support, okay? Bye-bye.